Now, let's see how far away Potency is. Move. Oh, it's right here. 70 things away. Cool. A meat to car is already. Revelio. Maybe auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. Which he is. He knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught Professor at Sharp. this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. And intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why I need some this particular potions. potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can yeah, heal this is some what I mean. injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your Why are you own. limping, my boy? You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Ooh, I hate teachers like him. I don't know what I'm over here doing. Oh, I hate teachers like him. Use a strong, even motion when crushing oh, your Oh, come on, I did this in pharmacy. Yeah, Please be yeah, meticulous more when adding this. powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. And then do it again. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right, so what do I do now? My parents considered Over keeping here. me home from school this year after the rumors... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes. Why, you Why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I wonder if this is like I'm Ronald Gareth, Weasley's big... Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related and yeah, I was to gonna Professor ask that too. Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing like one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as yep. clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Man. I'll get you the fruit sure, feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see Cap. what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Stop the cap. Not 
not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Which one am I doing? This one. Doing time. 28 seconds. Oh, y'all gonna make me sit here and wait 20 something seconds, huh? Wow, I guess I could go downstairs and get the uh, get the plant that had to grow for six minutes. Da 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 da. da. I'm waiting. Alrighty. And now we add the mallow sweet and. That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Again! Oh! Now! Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Alright, talk to me then, my boy. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I ain't helping him do nothing. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Cool. I'm actually gonna go and get that on. Um... For one day, class is dismissed. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though.